I remember somebody gave me like two shares of Nabisco stock for my bar mitzvah and like at age 13. Yeah. Do you see, and now you're a multimillionaire, right? I'm a, yeah, I'm a billionaire. That stock is split 48 <laughs> times. <laughs> Technically, I'm a majority shareholder in the Bisco Co. So I'm the CEO of Pepsi. Yeah. Incredible. Craft. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, my God, for your bar mitzvah. And I was so bored by that gift at the time. Yeah. To have a sheet of paper say I own two shares of Nabisco. I remember, I we, I think we did put a bunch of my bar mitzvah money into the stock market. Wow. And I was really excited. I was, it was like that, you know, in school when you like look at the pay, you like play the stock market, you like buy fake shares and stuff to yeah. like learn how it works. It was yeah. around that time um, or like a few years after that. And I was very excited. I would like look online and be like, I made $200 today in the stock market. That's cool. And then I lost it all. <laughs> <laughs> you actually lost it all to Bernie Madoff. <laughs> At age 14, you took a pretty substantial loan and gave it all to Bernie. I borrowed against that money also. <laughs> so I leveraged my bar mitzvah cash <laughs> and sort of pump and dumped it into a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> I spent... My high school years in debtor's mm -hmm. prison. I tried to have another bar mitzvah as a 22-year-old. <laughs> sort of. But my uncle, was, my the well had gone dry. My uncles weren't <laughs> writing checks for $68 anymore. Is 68 one of those lucky numbers? Yeah, no, multiples of 18. Of course. Yeah. yeah. My bar mitzvah theme was Enron. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you realize how fucked up that is? It was too big to fail. <laughs> I submarine my party. entire community. <laughs> <laughs>